How's it going guys? This is David with JS Gaming and Electronics here with the JBL Ever 700 repair video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the JBL Ever 700 headband. So these are my headphones, JBL Ever 700s. As you can tell, this headband has a crack right here and I'm going to replace it with this headband here. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So first thing you'll need would be a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to be using a size 2.0. Fold the hinge and unscrew these two screws that are right under the hinge. Repeat this on the other side. All right, once we have that unscrewed, go ahead and extend your hinge on both ends and you can remove this metal tab by sliding it down. You can do that on both sides. It should just come off right away. So next thing, you'll need a pry tool and you can begin prying this headband cushion. pretty much all the way along the edge. Make sure you get underneath this plastic piece here and not like underneath this rubber because you want to take it out with the plastic that's underneath the rubber part of the headband cushion. So we can go ahead and do that all the way across. Start from one side and work your way towards the other side. And got that headband cushion peeled off. Set that aside. So the next part would be to remove, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little pin here that goes all the way across to the other side that's holding the headband and this internal metal bracket. So what I'm going to do is push that, push that pin through. So I'm going to use a little screwdriver, something thin, anything thin that would fit into this hole works. So kind of just push that out. You can, you can see that this side kind of popped out. Once you get that out, you can go ahead and use some pliers or tweezers and kind of pull that out. So here is what it looks like. Set that aside. Go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. And it's better to push out. So as you can tell, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a thinner side of the pin and a thicker one. You want to push, push out the thinner first, so it just comes out easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and look. In this case, I want to push this end and pull the pin through. like that. Alright, once we got that, we can now kind of pull this headband out. It's pretty much held on a few clips. Just like that, you just work the headband. And we got that removed. So this headband is obviously broken. We're going to toss that. All right, so you need your new headband and we can install. So what I'm gonna do is align these holes where, the, where this pin goes into with this hole here on both sides. So it's gonna be easy if you extend the hinges. Kinda just push this headband in all the way across. So we kind of got them lined up here. And now I'm going to push these pins back in. It 
So important thing to note, make sure this wire is above the hinge or the hinge pin here. All right, let's get that in. have to kind of work it make sure the pin slides all the way through all right we got one side in as you can tell now let's do the next side I'm gonna have to extend that down grab your next pin and push that through It's not going in smoothly. You need to adjust where the clip or the, where the little rivet is. All right, we got that in. Push it all the way down. To make sure this pin is all pushed all the way down, so you don't want that this part sticking out. go got that that was a pain all right so next step would be the headband cushion so go ahead and position one pen right at the edge here and you can start pretty much pushing this uh, the cushion in it should clip in place just go from one side to the other. That looks good. I'm gonna extend this hinge and I'm gonna use a screwdriver to kind of push these down. All right, now we can slide this metal bracket down. And let's go ahead and screw these two screws in. Let's do the same on this side. Test your hinges, make sure they slide up and down correctly, and they fold normally, and that is it. We do sell these parts on our website at www.joesge.com, it's linked below. Also, if you guys have don't have the tools required for this repair, we do sell them on our website as well. If you guys have any questions regarding this repair, feel, feel free to comment down below, and we will do our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.